What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And I just found out sadly that Demi Lovato relapsed. And a lot of people have been doing reaction videos to her song Sober. My lovely girlfriend just informed me of this. So I decided I'll do a reaction. So I just celebrated six years sober. I am somebody who has relapsed many, many, many times. Uh, I believe Demi Lovato and I had around the same clean date. So when my girlfriend told me this, I was like, wait, she must have just really recently relapsed because her clean date was right around the same time as mine. So I found that very interesting. But in this video, I want to give my reaction to her song, the lyrics. I'm gonna be pausing it, I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna try to give advice on how to deal with relapse. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my thoughts and opinions on her situation and uh, her relapse and what she should do moving forward. And I'm not an expert or anything, but just a guy who is in recovery and works with a lot of clients who are trying to stay clean too. So without further ado, let's watch this. This is her live performance, I believe from Portugal or something like that. But anyways, let's watch it. Like I said, I'll be pausing. Try not to get annoyed, but I do want to discuss some of the lyrics of this song. Let's go. Excuses for all of these goodbyes. Call me when it's over, cause I'm dying inside. Wake me when the shakes are gone and the cold sweats disappear. Call me when it's over and myself is reappeared. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why. I do it every, every, every time it's only. Sometimes I just wanna care and I don't wanna fight. I try and I try and I try and I try and I try just hold me. All right, so the the first little section right there, like she's talking about the withdrawals, right? Like the shaking and the cold sweats and everything like that. I'm not sure what substances she relapsed on. I think one of her substances of choice was alcohol. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely alcohol. I did a video that I'm gonna link up in the description on her uh, her documentary that she did on YouTube. It's phenomenal. I highly suggest you rec uh, check it out. But anyways, yeah, like the withdrawal is terrible. Like on my video that I did about opiate withdrawal, I've also done about one about alcohol withdrawal. Like one of the things that keeps me sober on a day-to-day -day basis, um, especially when like life's getting rough or the cravings are coming and things like that, is I never, ever, ever, ever want to forget how terrible withdrawal is. And she's saying like, wake me up, you know, when it's over. Um, this next part, I'm not sure if it's the course. I think it's the course. And she's saying that she tries and tries and you know, she's done this over and over and over again. And she says it only happens when she's lonely. And my best suggestion to anybody out there who is struggling to stay clean or you're in early recovery, right? The best thing that you can do, and I say it's my secret to recovery, it's not a huge secret. Look at everything in the past that has caused you to relapse. Like Demi's, acknowledging that being lonely is what makes her relapse. Like, so I, I know that when I isolate, and I've talked to all of you so many times about isolation and how terrible it is. Like, it's so important for me to not be in that place. Like when I'm feeling lonely, when I'm feeling isolated, like it, it forces me, like I have to force myself rather to go out, reach out and connect with other people. I'm so sorry, I'm not sober anymore. Daddy, please forgive me for the drinks spilled on the floor. To the ones who never left me, we've been down this road before. I'm so sorry, I'm not sober anymore. Like, that's, that's one of the cool things about being uh, a celebrity, you know, like, I guess cool, like, and like being able to have this outlet, you know, and this is why I recommend all of you find some kind of creative outlet. If it's not music writing or something like that, like she's able to talk through this stuff. Like, man, relapse 
sucks. It sucks. And like going to people and letting them know. My last relapse lasted me about a year and a half because I didn't want to say those sorries. I didn't want to go to my my mom, my dad, my baby mama, you know, my friends and all these people who I let down. An amazing song that I really need to do a breakdown on is Macklemore starting over. Um, but it's very inspirational, uh, that song, but as well as this one, where you're like, you're being an example of like getting back up and trying this thing again. Because so many people relapse and they just want to give up. Making love the way I say it for you inside my head And I'm sorry for the fans I lost Who watched me fall again like, <laughs> that's just kind of weird. I think, like, people just hear the word fans and they start screaming. But, like, her lyrics are saying, like, I'm sorry for the fans I lost. Like, it's not like a, a screaming. It's kind of like when you're on Facebook and you post something about, like, being miserable or depressed or something terrible happening. And somebody, like, gives it a thumbs up. That's why I'm glad, like, Facebook, like, put all the other little reaction things that you can do. Because, like... When somebody like gives a thumbs up, or in this case, cheers when you're saying something like not good, you're kind of like, uh, did you really understand what I was trying to say? But anyways. So yeah, but anyways, um, you know, breaking that down, like she's talk she talks first about the people who have never left her side and stuck by her like so this last weekend i just got to see one of my best friends in southern california she came with me my son my girlfriend to corgi beach day and i, I have uh, a bunch not a bunch i have a you know a small handful of friends who stuck by me through the relapses and stuck by me through my recovery too and they never left my side and some people are gonna leave you know like all of you and this is something i say all the time like all of you right now like you're meeting the best version of me you're meeting uh me me, right you love me I'm amazing that's a joke calm down but there's a lot of people out there who still think I'm a jerk for the things that I did before you know but there are people who stuck with me through all of this um but yeah there are people who are going to leave and that's you know that's the thing like every day I always say this to people that every day you got to wake up and say what's your motivation for staying clean and some days you don't want to stay clean for yourself but some days you got to stay clean for other people like you don't want to lose those people you don't want to hurt those people you don't want to harm those people you know what I mean um and that's something that helps keep me clean today but anyways um I'm gonna touch some more on people sticking by you towards the end I do it every, every, every time it's only when I'm lonely. Sometimes I just want to cave in, I don't want to fight. I try and I try and I try and I try and I try, just hold me. I'm lonely. Mama, I'm so sorry, I'm not sober anymore. And Daddy, please forgive me for the drink spilled on the floor. And, and real quick, like that, that part where, you know, she talks about like eventually, you know, she, she just caves in and she doesn't want to try anymore and stuff. And like, man, this is why we really got to work on our mental health, especially if you're in a recovery, uh, if you're a recovering addict, like, man, like in early recovery, like your first year of recovery, you got to like glue your hands to the chair and just not pick up a drink or a drug, no matter what. Like that's pretty much all you got to do, right? Like you got to do this. You got to do some other stuff too. But anyways, like, man. My recovery, and by by all means, I, I don't want to come off cocky or e egotistical. Like, I am a few bad decisions away from relapsing myself. But, like, I'm glad that, you know, because I'm so passionate about working on my mental health, I don't got to fight anymore. Like, it's not a day-to-day -day struggle for me anymore. Like, if you ask me, like, today how I deal with, like, cravings and urges to use, like... I'll have to sit there and think about it for a while because they rarely ever happen. And like, it sucks because Demi, you know, she's a celebrity. She is constantly being pounded with stress. You know what I'm saying? And um, she also struggled with some mental illnesses her, herself. And like, these are all very, very difficult. And it makes it 10 times harder when you're a celebrity, you know? But man, like, she needs that support group and I hope she's still working some type of program. Um, I could do a whole video about 
the lifestyle and things and Demi Lovato specifically. Like I've seen just how she lives her life in sobriety based on the documentary I watch. And I'm like, man, that's risky. But you know, I've seen people do it before. But I do think there are some things in her lifestyle that she chooses to do that have put her at a higher risk. To the ones who never left me We've been down this road before I'm so sorry I'm not sober anymore Dang, girl. Dang. Preach it. Like, that. that's great how she ends that song. Like, and I'm sorry to myself. Like, that. that's huge. One of the, the hardest things to do is just forgive yourself and to move forward. Like, the last person I really had to make an amends to was, was myself. You know, I, I've mentioned this in other videos about when my mental health gets screwed up. Like, I can beat myself up like nobody can. Like, as much as we feel like we let other people down, like, man, we let ourselves down. And we, we can have this inc crazy internal dialogue. You know what I mean? But anyways, phenomenal, phenomenal song. I, I just, I love when celebrities um, do this and they're open and vocal about recovery as well as relapse because it inspires others and lets other people know. Um, the last few minutes of this video, I just wanna talk about kind of, I don't know, the article that my girlfriend sent me was like, oh, Demi Lovato gets this uh, outpouring of, you know, um, support from her fans and everything like that. And that's so cool. I love it, I love it. Like, here's my opinion, just my opinion, just me, humble old me, I'm a nobody, but this is my opinion. It's, it's, this, it's this thing that there has to be a balance to it, right? Like, and here's what I mean. When too many people forgive you and support you, it, it can be enabling, all right? It can be an enabler. Like when you relapse and if everybody, if everybody around you says, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, like there's a part of your brain, your addicted brain that says, see, you can relapse, it's not that bad, people aren't that mad at you, you know what I mean? And like, it's, it's dangerous, but like I said, you need that, you need people to forgive you, you need people to support you. Like in 12 step programs, they say, we don't shoot our wounded, that's so, so, so important. The approach that I take with my clients, okay, when I get a call that somebody relapsed, all right, I, I talk to them, I say, the first thing I say is, I'm glad you're alive, all right, first thing I say, okay? And then I give them real tough love. I'm like, you screwed up. You screwed up really bad, okay? Then I'm like, let's talk about it. What led to this? What are you gonna do differently this time? You know, I have to let them know that like what happened is not okay. Like we have to just make sure that even though we're providing them with support and letting them know that we're not leaving them and we still support them and da 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 da, we also have to let them know like you done messed up. You messed up. I made a video a long time ago, long, long time ago about Facebook support groups because sometimes that's what I see in recovery Facebook support groups where people are like, hey, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. And that's like all the comments are, I'm like, is anybody gonna be like, hey, it's kind of not okay at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, it's a balance, it's a balance. And like, I, I just, I, I don't know how to express it in a way where I don't sound like a jerk, but I also don't sound like an enabler, but I hope it makes sense and I hope it comes with a balance. But here's the thing, this is why I tell people to, like Demi Lovato knows how to stay sober. She knows how to. If she can go back and do what she did, like she knows what works, okay? So if you're out there and you had some sobriety, a decent length of sobriety, I don't care whatever decent length of sobriety means to you, I don't care if it's a month, two months, three months, a year, six years, whatever it is, like look back at it and say, how did I do it the first time? Okay, well I know what keeps me sober for this long, now what do I gotta do after that? What do I gotta do after that point, okay? All right, but, Anyways, like I, I really enjoyed that song and hopefully Demi does well in her recovery and all that. Um, 
But yeah, if any of you have questions for me or if you have suggestions on how to deal with relapse, leave them down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So click that round subscribe button. I'm gonna put it right there. And if you would like to support the channel over on Patreon, like so many others are doing, four, um, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you next time.